What's up guys, Joey here Fugotech, and with the launch of the Huawei Mate 30 series, the company also announced its decision to stick with its own mobile platform, Huawei Mobile Services. Now this may or may not sound familiar to some of you out there because what most Android users are aware of is Google Mobile Services which are services and apps provided by Google under license with any Android-based operating system. This is comprised of Google Play services, the Google Play Store, and apps like Gmail, YouTube, and others. On the other hand, Huawei's equivalent, Huawei Mobile Services, includes things like the Huawei App Gallery, Huawei Cloud, Huawei Themes, Huawei ID, among other things. The Huawei App Gallery in particular is basically their own counterpart to the Google Play Store. In any Huawei device, it's always available as a complement to the Google Play Store, but in the case of the Mate 30 and Mate 30 Pro, it's a standalone service. Because after all, Huawei Mobile Services isn't just about having specific apps such as the browser, app gallery, music player, file manager, and others. It's important because a phone needs certain key services to run properly. Without certain core background services and APIs, developers can't properly make versions of their apps that cater to devices like the Mate 30 and Mate 30 Pro. For Google, this is the GMS Core, and equivalently for Huawei, it's the HMS Core. This includes APIs like the Account Kit, which is Huawei's equivalent to the sign-in with Google or sign-in with Facebook. This allows users to simply sign into an app with their existing Huawei account instead of having to create a new account from scratch. Another important one, Location Kit, the equivalent to the fused location provider from Google Play services. A lot of apps need GPS or location data to work properly. Think Waze, Grab, Uber, Food Panda, and more. And the list goes on. There are many things at play here for Huawei to provide a usable software experience for phones like the Mate 30 series without having to rely on Google services. And Huawei has been putting significant effort in garnering support from developers, like holding the Huawei Developers Day event to introduce HMS and encourage them to create versions of their apps included in HMS. I mean, Huawei has sold hundreds of millions of phones to date, so having popular apps on their native platform is a huge incentive, meaning users need not use Google Play if they can get their apps on the home platform. So in sum, Huawei's move to continue on with its own mobile services can actually be seen as one that strengthens its own position. I mean, if they can eventually prove that reliance on Google mobile services is unnecessary, then it can be a good thing for the industry overall. So that about wraps it up for this video, guys. I hope you learned something new. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon to miss in future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.